Hi everyone, uh, welcome to lecture 6 of this series of Python for all and gas lectures and in the previous video uh, we have discussed about string concatenation that is a method to add multiple strings to form a, a meaningful sentences but there is a lot uh, more easier method known as a string formatting to do the same function so in this video uh, we will be learning how can we uh, perform the uh, methodologies of uh, string formatting so let's get started with this lecture so i have already uh, taken two uh, variables namely field uh, which shows a kg basin and a pressure named very uh, pre press variable which is representing the pressure of kg basin that is 5000 uh, psi now uh, let's say i want to uh, print a line which is saying that reservoir pressure is 5000 psi okay so using concatenation uh, how can i write it let's say print a reservoir pressure is this is a one string now i'll have to give a space here then i'll have to type but what we have to type is 5000 right but 5000 is nothing but press because variable press holds the value of 5000 right after that again a space bar and then a psi we have to type in the string method so this will uh, definitely get me printed uh, the value of uh, the output required that is the reservoir pressure is 5000 psi right wrong you must remember now uh, that in the previous videos when i told you that uh, string only gets added with the string only so here but the press value here that is 5000 it is an integer value so we'll have to convert this integer value to a string uh, how can i do that you just write here str str of press which 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 uh, means that str of 5000 so here 5000 now gets converted into a string now we'll get the required output see correct okay but uh, this method is a lot uh, means longer method and it also looks ugly when someone uh, sees this method so that that's why string formatting comes into the picture now string formatting can uh, further be done in two ways in the older version of python that is python 3 how can we uh, format the string is that uh, for getting the same results we can write the code such as uh, reservoir pressure is just write here uh, curly brackets and psi once you're done with this statement you just write after uh, dot format here after the single apostrophe and whatever uh, you have to fill in this curly brackets here whatever the whatever is the required value here you can just write here in the brackets of format so what we want is press right uh, here one thing to remember is that let's get the, let's see the results first all uh, right we are getting the results so one thing to uh, notice here is that uh, it doesn't matter that here pressure is an integer or the string value. So this uh, this are isn't up our work, right? So here uh, does not matter that press is a press is an integer value, correct? But now let's see the more advanced method, uh, which is a lot more easier method. What we can do is I I, I just copy this see what you can do is you can just write f before the starting uh, before the single apostrophe i haven't here okay and then you will just write uh, the variable name or whatever uh, is the required here so this will def this will also give me the required output that is reservoir pressure is 5000 psi correct now uh, let's say i want to uh, go for a little bit changes in this statement i want to print a reservoir pressure in kg basin is 5000 psi so i am including the kg basin here again the ugly method which is the concatenation method uh, what i can do is i'll just copy this method and reservoir pressure in spacebar here what i uh, what i need is a kg basin right reservoir pressure in space kg basin so kg basin is nothing but a field kg basin again i'll have to write is here 
so now our sentence is uh, building up reservoir pressure in kg in space kg basin is 5000 psi correct it will give us the right output okay i have to again yes again i have to give the space bar after the is so you can see that how uh, complex this is a complex method this also does not looks good so if we apply string formatting of python 3 method what we can write is print that uh, reservoir pressure in here we have to write kg basin so i'll just put curly brackets here in kg basin is dash that is uh, our again our variable name here psi and after the first of what i'll do is i'll put the format function here and now here i have to put the two values in the order in the order which i want like first i want a kg basin so i'll have to write field here here field then after the comma what i need here is 5000 so here i'll write press right again see here it doesn't matter our pressure press a value is in integer or uh, any any in of any data type this is the beauty of string formatting so we'll get the required results here so the word pressure in kg basin is 5000 psi correct now we can also get the same thing uh, by string formatting method of python 3.6 so what we can do is instead of uh, using dot format what we can go for we can just use f here and uh, f before the single first of and here in this curly bracket what i need is kg basin so i'll write the variable name which uh, consists of kg basin that is field and here what i need is 5000 psi the 5000 is nothing but press great we are getting the results with a lot uh, more easier methods that is string formatting uh, one more thing we can do is let's say uh, let's say in python 3 method if we can also change the pressure to any different values means we can change the variable names a uh, variable value uh, let's say i want to type that pressure is not 5000 psi i just want to say that pressure is 5050 psi so instead of changing my variable here instead of changing my variable here that to 5000 from 5000 to 5050 what i can do is you can just simply write here press plus 50 here it will give me now reservoir pressure in kg basin is 5050 psi see uh, again this can be done in uh, python 3.6 also which is most uh, which I am most comfortable with so here I can do just write pressure plus 50 or I can see any value like 1110 the, I think uh, you are uh, clear with the point which I am trying to make ok great uh, now in uh, in previous lectures uh, previous to previous lecture of variables I forgot to uh, tell you one more thing that we can also define multiple variables in a single line say uh, I have an uh, I have one variable named name and I want to another variable I want to define is age in the same thing what you can do in the same line what you can do is just uh, separate them with a comma and just write here name will be the branch that is string and age I can go is 24 execute this cell now if you want to print my name you'll get the branch right if you want to print 20 sorry age it is 24 so this is how you can also define multiple variables in a single line now uh, one more thing here that in this in python 3 method right what we did was uh, we have uh, order is necessary means order is important order is important means whatever order uh, order this is the required state in the required statement we'll have to fill here the format uh, function in the same order as well right say for example if i reverse the order here let's say i now what do is i write pressure first here and write field here So now it is printing that reservoir pressure in 5000 is kg basin. So maintaining this order is important. Uh, one thing you can do when you don't want to maintain an order is what you can do is let's say 
C. Let's say uh, we we create a we uh, what we do is we create a temporary variables. Let's say I create a temporary variable pressure equal to press here and another variable temporary variable that is field underscore name equals to field right now what you have to do is you have to just fill the temporary variable names here let's say I, because i want here field name so what you can write here is uh, field name and here you can write pressure now if you print this See, now you can see uh, we are getting the uh, correct results that is res reservoir pressure in uh, kg basin is 5000 psi uh, and, and see here order is uh, not man ma mandatory because we have we have written here pressure first and the kg basin that is fields name afterwards here so uh, temporary variables makes us uh, this work uh, makes us this work that order is not uh, of that importance here so uh, this is all about a uh, string formatting in this video and i hope uh, you are uh, you are getting comfortable with the python as soon as we are proceeding thank you very much for joining and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you